these guys come from? Fuck. Got you now. Oh, got you now. All right, come on. I need some more ammo. I'm trying. Got you. Got you. Bye. Shit, the wall. Bye. What the hell? This is intense. Bye. Bye. Who's coming near? Bye. Next. This is a lot of men. It's like I kill one, boom, two more appear. Like cockroaches, man. They are all cockroaches. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Jesus, this hurts. Jesus I know it does. Where's the goddamn truck? I don't know. Crap, we got cops. Well, I need this. The cops are here. Fuck. Woo! Yep, I know what I did. I know exactly what I did. No regrets. Come on. Wow, I'm actually killing these cops. This is crazy. Okay, let them come up the stairs. They ain't gonna get near for shit. See? We're good. We're good. Trust me. We are good. Finally, the truck is here. Polly, come on, man. Tony and Donnie, too? Yup. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, Good. Any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. This is scary as hell. I'm the only man standing. Come on, big boy. Okay. 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 We're gonna get y'all patched up. Okay. Someone's coming. Holy shit! What is that? We got more company. All right, get in. I'm right here, Sam. It's the ammo. And a Thompson back there somewhere. When they pull in behind you, blast them down. Just don't let them get past us. Oh, shit. It's all about the funding, man. I'm trying. I was 
really hope Sam's okay, honestly. Oh shit. We're screwed. Woo! Two squad cars on us! No, we're not. There you go. One's down. Damn. They're just like cockroaches, man. What do you mean? Oh, no. Let them get close, because they're not going to get us. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Come on. That's what I'm trying to do. Ah, there goes the motorcycle. Oh, shit. Oh, we're screwed. We're screwed. Damn. Come on, man. A whole bunch of them are coming. I think that's it. Shit. And we're screwed. Oh, we're not. Dude, keep driving, keep driving. Wow. That's insane. One little push. Thank you. Oh, no. Got it. Shit. Come on. Come on. I'm doing it. There you go. There you go. And what? The truck was destroyed. Oh, man. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's just too much at the moment. Can't believe I have to redo this part all over again, but you know what? It could be worse. Wait, hold on. Do you think this is easy shooting them from behind? I'm trying to shoot as accurately as possible, and yet I'm doing it. You need to stop and give me more patience than that. Thank you, see? Just a little more patience, that's all. Thank you. Oh. Okay. And another. Throw another. Okay. <laughs> I got more where that came from. Let me know. Because I'm about to barbecue their asses. Polly, we gotta lose them. Come on, Polly. Damn. They just we slip and slide. We did it. Wow, we actually escaped from the cops? I'm like so surprised. I really hope, I really hope
hope he makes it because I'm gonna be really sad if he ends up dying. Come on, Sam, let's go. Wake up, fool. Please stay awake. I'm not trying to lose you. Come on, buddy, let's go. This night is already long as it is. I just. I don't know, I just don't want to lose you, you know? Polly, kick the damn door the down. You so late? Uh, even a doc, sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. This doctor is on 24 7 call. I'll What's his soul? Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> Poor Doc. He's like, I was just sleeping when you were Doctor, banging at my door. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Doc. I'm gonna be fine. Okay, fine. I'll go. As long as you're good. Hey. Yeah. You did good tonight. Thanks, you too. That was one hell of a night, honestly. Blood, sweat, tears. I thought I almost lost Saul. I'm just glad he's making it through. And we got the cargo too, so it's not like we are losing that much. But the fact that we walked into a trap though, that's just pretty, that is just pretty bullshit how we walked into a trap basically. So, since all of that is done and over with, I'm just going to go to Sarah's apartment because I just need to be with my wife at this point. By the way, this is Lover of Ladies here. Like my video. Share my video. Leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly, Please subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to receive daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well, so you'll be able to know exactly when I post my videos. Which is 6pm every day by the way, just in case if you haven't noticed. I hate driving in the rain, especially because of the fact that if you have a car that's like four-wheel drive, oh no, you see, I can't drive in the rain, but if you have a car that's like all-wheel drive, you're good, but if it's front-wheel drive, forget about it, you gotta drive extra careful. Okay, so I'm on my way to Sarah's apartment. I'm not sure if she knew that I had some business to attend to, but honestly, I'm just glad that I was able to complete that quest. And yeah, I just can't get over it. We basically walked into a trap, and we almost got killed for it. I know being in the Mafia has its risks, and rewards, but I just, I don't know. I'm starting to think, is it really worth being in the Mafia, knowing how, knowing how high the risks are? Because what if I just simply want to settle down and relax and start a family? I mean, I got Sarah who's interested in being with me, so... Should I really keep going on this Mafia life? I'm not sure. But then again, I bet the Mafia life pays a handsome, a handsome amount of money. Okay, let me see. Am I near the apartment? I should be close, right? I'm not sure. Then again... Mafia doesn't really let me know how far I am with my with my destination, so... Damn! I really can't drive in the rain, honestly. Ooh, ooh, I almost hit that table. 
people. Okay, I should be President good from Bass here. I like how I just parked right in the middle of the alleyway. Alright, I'm here, honey. Got home nice and safe. Oh no, she was waiting for me the whole time. I bet, yeah, she's upset with me, I can tell. She's pissed. Dinner's cold. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Yeah, Sam almost got killed. She can tell that he's pretty intense, too, because I know for a fact she's not asking any questions. <gasps> oh no, the blood! She has blood in her hands because of the coat he was wearing. And look at my face. I'm like shook. I'm like traumatized. Aww, she's giving me a hug, too. I don't know. Do I really want to do this mafia life? I'm not sure. Okay. Wait, she said yes? I still can't get over the fact that Sarah said okay to my marriage proposal. As soon as I get your message. Sit down, Tom. Oh no, am I in trouble? Am I being a bitch again with my money? We have a mole, Tom. A what? No. Oh. Please tell me it's not Paulie or Sam, please. I'm driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. Okay, so what did you find out? What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. What? Frank. Frank's the mole. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And he's the one who told me not to be a bitch with my money. Get go my miela. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. So you, what Frank do you want me to do? One person in this whole town and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife wow. And kid are gone. Wow, he really is the mole. I don't know how I feel about that. What's his motive? Oh, no. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. I dealt that. He tried to drown. Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. Wow, you went that far with the dog, huh? I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Of course. Check all our stories. See who knows what. I got you, boss. No worries. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. Okay. After that, you do what we gotta do. Kill him? Oh no, I don't want to. It's Frank. I don't know. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Oh, damn, man. Do I. I don't want to kill Frank. He's the same guy who gave me so much advice. Especially with that dog analogy he made. I mean, that really shook me to the core. I'm not going to lie. Oh, man. You can never judge a book by its cover, that's for sure. Okay, so... Huh, you telling me. You are telling me. 
We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. Thanks, man. So I love a new car. If you want it. Thank you. Ooh, and a new weapon? When Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. Cool. Thank you. Is this my car to ride? Um, the thing is, I want to know if this is my car to ride or not. Probably not. So is this it? Is this my car or not? I need to know. No, this is my car. Okay. Can we talk about the style of this car, though? I wish... And I wish this car was news. still popular to drive. Today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. That's a lot of people to lose. Aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy i just love how this game has some really intriguing news it makes me very immersive in this game as if i'm living through it national disaster and said that he grieves with the wives and families of those lost and the nation we will bring you more on the disaster and the navy's search as we receive it thank you I'm at the pawn shop, but I don't know. I just, I can't get over the fact that Frank is a mole. This is the man who gave me such wonderful advice on how not to be a bitch boy. And yet, he himself is a bitch boy. What a hypocrite. Tommy, what's the rumpus? <sighs> you tell me, big boy. You tell me. Okay, so... Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, Ah, uh, wow. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Cool. I love getting some gossip. Let me take a nice little jog. The FBI is in town. Which means some serious stuff is happening. Now I really gotta go and figure this thing out. Welcome to a WLH Sports Report. There's a sense of anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own Lost Heaven Lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. I'm not really into sports like that, but hey, if you guys like it, that's cool. What's your favorite type of sport? Leave your comments below. Other than that, the only sport that I'm willing to watch would be wrestling. Jack Seidel, his solo home run in the bottom of the fifth inning of Game 5 turned events in favor of the Empire Bay team. Victory was canceled out by the Lancers in game six, and we now have a powder kick. Okay, so I'm right near little Tony. I still can't get over how Frank could be the mole. I feel like... I feel like there's some sort of a setup here. So... No, not everything's okay. No, no, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. 
that on that Councilor Gilatti's brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. Wow, that's they dirty. They were ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see French straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Wow, Tom, Frank. What's going on? Listen, don't worry about it. All I know is that right there just proves to me that Frank is just our dirty little rat. Wow. To think Frank of all people. Frank of all people being the rat. I don't know, man. I just, I'm really disappointed in Frank. He was like a mentor, a teacher. And yeah, he has the audacity to pull this off on our gang. I mean, if I'm going to have to kill him, I'm really willing to do it myself. I know it's going to really hurt, but at the end of the day, we got to protect the game. The audacity. The audacity. To be a mole. And for the FBI, too. Why can't you do that to Morello? Why do we always have to bear the misfortune? I got to admit, though. Can we talk about the classic cars for a second? I wish we were able to drive the classic car still, because this has its own little style, its own little charm. Not like today's cars, where it's all full of plastic and everything. These cars are full of hardcore, durable metal. Oh, I almost ran this person over. The mission of Lost Heaven Radio, our city's public service broadcaster, is to serve you. I love the news aspect of this game, too. It's like, if I don't want to listen to music, I can just listen to the news. Damn, look at me crashing already. This music is nice, too. I love it. But the thing that's been in the back of my mind is, why would Frank do his dirty like that? Frank has been in the business longer than I have. He should be getting like a good fat part of the check. So what would be his motive? Why would he want to rat his rat as uh, uh, sorry? Why would he want to rat us out to the FBI? I really doubt it's because of the money, honestly. Looks like the place. Okay, I'm here, right? He's really good at backing up. I ain't gonna lie. Frank. 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 Frank, we need to talk. Okay, can I drive or not? Take me to those account books, Frank. I just can't get over it. Frank's my boy, and yet he did that. I know you can't trust everyone or anybody, but dude, this is a very low bro. You almost hit the car. Teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith. I just don't get it, Frank. Why would you do this duty like that? Why would you do us dirty like that, Frank? Frankie Hodge, prowling in front of the dugout, just 
We've been so good to you. And you're an important part of the team. And this is how you treat us. I don't know. I'm still disappointed in what Frank has been pulling behind our backs. Do I really want to kill him? I'm not... I'm not sure, honestly. I'm really not sure. Do I really want to deal with this? Obviously, the Mafia trusts me enough to do it, but... I don't know. I respect Frank so much. And for him to pull this off of all people, I would expect this type of behavior from Sam or even Polly because at this point, they're just hired muscle. And the Mafia doesn't even take them seriously as potentials for running the place, even running the town. And Frank said so himself in the last episode. They have potential to run this town. Is Frank trying to leave the city altogether? Especially since he's going to the airport? Who knows? I'm trying not to be as suspicious, but honestly, it's pretty obvious at this point that I'm following you around. We're the only two cars in this road, so you really think, by coincidence, I'm just driving around the same direction as you? Oh, Frank, I, I still can't believe it. Frank was like a mentor. And yet, he has the audacity to pull this off. I'm pissed. And I have a good feeling I'm going to end up killing him, too. Either because he leaves me with no choice, or... Oh, this is awkward. All right, let me restart this. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.